later, how do you feel when you hear the name Spam Solo? You will never mention that name again. I will annihilate him with my lightsaber. And my name is not Darth Vader. How rude. It is Darth Vader. I will annihilate you. What's wrong with this blasted thing? Who made this lightsaber? Weetek, kneel before me, you mortal. Who made this lightsaber? Is it Weetek? Amara works? Tokyo Marui? KJ works? Who made this? Don't you ever call me Daft Vader again. Okay, okay, Daft Vader. I mean, Darth Vader. Listen, can I suggest you turn the lights out? Maybe that will help the lightsaber to work. The force is strong with this one. What is his name? Uh, well, well, well uh, uh, Lord Vader, my name is Airsoft Mike. It's a pleasure to, 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 to help you. And, and might I be as bold as to suggest that you hold the saber the correct way? Perhaps turn the lights out completely? Airsoft Mike. I've never heard of such. The force is strong. Get on with the review. You take a look at this beast. Oh my gosh. This is the Armorer Works M712, the Star Wars style smuggler blaster with the scope. And guess what? This is absolutely limited. This is a limited edition and it's handmade. Oh my gosh, this thing is handmade. Now you can get something kind of similar from WeTech, but trust me when I say this is different because it's handmade by the Armourer Works 
technician, their chief, airsoft gun maker. You've got many other replicas out there for all of you Star Wars fans, but this is one for you airsofters. And you know what, even if you're not an airsofter, Oh my gosh, what a display piece this would be if you're a huge, like me, Star Wars fan. Now I've got to give a huge big shout out to JK Army. Thank you so much for sending me this awesome airsoft pistol. I feel so honored because as I said before, this isn't just your normal run of the mill airsoft gun. This baby, this bad boy is handmade. It's limited edition. It's blooming expensive to buy in the UK. It's about twice the price or even up to three times the price of a regular airsoft uh, pistol. But if you go to the JK Army website, jkarmy.com, they've got this at a really great price. Check out the video description after the video. Okay, so let's go through some of the features now. Let's start with the scope. Would you look at this? Yes, it's a mock scope. You can actually look through it as I'm showing you just there, but this here is just for show, but it does look beautiful and it's just not there as a, a solid static piece. It actually turns gorgeous. It has an adjustable rear sight. You've got your fire selector switch right here, and guess what? It does semi-auto and full auto. I can't wait for the shooting test. You've got your safety lever and your mag release. And talking about the mag, would you look at this dinky little thing? <laughs> this is so cute, it's so small, it's so nice, it's compact, I love it. And of course, it's gas operated, and as usual, I'm gonna be using green gas. This particular mag takes about 10 rounds, but because this is compatible with the other manufacturer that makes this similar gun, you can use the mags from that too. Check out the video description for more details, but as I said, this takes about 10 rounds, but you can get mags that take a lot more. <laughs> nice. And you know what else I absolutely love about this? It's full blowback action. Oh my gosh. And you can even cock it back just like that. And you know what the coolest thing is as well? Is that when the magazine is empty, this bad boy right here stays back just like any other gas blowback pistol. This entire model is made out of metal. That's what I love about this too. It's all metal. The only thing that isn't metal, as per usual on pistols, is your grip. And as you can see there, it's made to look like real wood. But you do have the option of swapping these out for real wooden grips. Oh, and of course, this little piece right here, wrapped around the metal magwell, is plastic. People, I have to admit, Armourer Works, as a brand, excite me greatly. This is one awesome piece. And as I said, this is going to be a collector's piece for me. This is beautiful. Okay, you know what's gonna happen now, don't you? I am so excited for the shooting test. This is such an awesome piece and I'd love to see how the action, the cycling works on this bit right here. I'm guessing this is gonna look awesome. So let's do this. May the force be with me as I take it to the range. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is an accuracy test, but let me tell you this right now. I really don't care how accurate this is or not, because as I keep saying to me, this is a beautiful collector's piece. 
I'm not taking it out for gameplay, but for some of you that may want to take it out for gameplay, it's only fair that I put it through the same tests that I do on all my other airsoft guns. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to get the mag out. <laughs> Little dinky mag. Anyway, yeah, we're going to put some green gas in right there and we're going to get some BBs in. Look, it's just like any other mag, but just tiny. Okay, so let me tell you what I'm going to attempt to do, so at least you've got an idea where I'm coming from. I'm going to start from the top left, go across, and then go across there, and when it comes to about there, I would have run out of ammo anyway, because it's only a 10 round mag. So I'm going to start there, okay? And let me just prove a point here of how small these individual targets are. Here's my tape measure. If I put this right there, it's not even two inches. It's literally about an inch and a half. <laughs> so from there to there is only an inch and a half. So each of these little targets are minuscule. So I'd be doing very well if I even get the BB to hit anywhere near <laughs> these targets. But anyway, here we go. I'm gonna go back about 35 to 40 feet and we're gonna see how accurate this pistol is or not. five feet away let me just grab the camera off the tripod okay so target number one I hit outside the target but again this only being two inches wide I would say that is still pretty good uh, target number two didn't hit anywhere near it same with three and four but five look just above it there and then when we go to target number six which is this tiny little silhouette again this is only about well not even two inches an inch and a half wide, all of them, about an inch and a half wide. Didn't hit it there, but look at this one <laughs> right here. I hit right in the head, but then there's another shot right there. So whether that headshot was meant for that one, I don't know. Either way, I'm claiming that. <laughs> but then when you look at this, look at target number, what's that, it's five, six, seven. Target number eight, right there, below the neck, top of the chest, Bullseye, dead on. I like that. That is cool. And then when you look there at the next target, look, bullseye. And then when you look at the other target, look, just on the shoulder, right there. So you know what? And look, I'll show you where all the other stray shots went. Look, there's a couple there. And even on this shot, let me show you, because I like to be honest. You see there, for example, on uh, the D target, yeah, I've just realized they've got letters above them, okay, so, well, those ones, anyway, um, yeah, on the D target, where I didn't hit it at all, it actually landed just below, above the gun of this target here, because look, there was the intended shot for that target, but this stray one above it was intended for this one, so again, people, this entire target system here is big, the individual tiny little targets right there, if you're in the UK, it's about the size of, or a little bit bigger than a 50 pence coin. And I was over 35 feet away. The fact that any of these shots hit anywhere near their targets is an amazing thing. And I surely will have to give this Armour Works Star Wars style Han Solo pistol 10 out of 10. I absolutely love it. Its accuracy to me is on point. All we've got to do now is check out the chronograph test.
there you go. Of course, your FPS ratings will vary, and that depends on how cold your mag is. I've already been firing this airsoft pistol, so the mag was pretty cold, so your FPS readings will drop. I would say we were averaging around 270, but in earlier FPS, or should I say chronograph tests, we were getting above your 280s, between your 280s and your 300s. Okay, let's do what I've been waiting for since the beginning of this video, is to test it out on full auto. And look, this part right here has locked back because the mag is empty. Awesome! I've really got to give another huge thank you and shout out to jkarmy.com. But yeah, you can find these at other airsoft retailers. They are limited and they will run you about £300 in the UK. But please do check out the link below where you will find a direct link to this product at the jkarmy.com website where you will be amazed at the price compared to everyone else. I'm Airsoft Mike and boy do I approve this. Armourer Works M712 Star Wars style smuggler blaster, the one with the scope. Uh, hold on a second. Isn't this Airsoft review all about the pistol that Han Solo carries? Well, where's Han Solo? Hey, hey, I'm down here. Down here. What the? What are you doing all the way down there? Why are you so short? No, the budget wouldn't stretch to a full-size Han Solo. <laughs> Thank you.